Hi YouTube. Um, my name is Shahidi. It's my first mukbang. I'm doing a seafood boil. And I'm also doing the Be Love sauce to have it with. Shout out to Be Love. Um, I'm gonna have some lobster, some crabs, Dungeness crab, um, a potato or two, and a boiled egg. Um, extra large shrimp and the big up stuff. So yeah, I start off by chopping the onion and the garlic, which is probably the easiest way to start. Um, I did the Dungeness crab, as you can see. And I'm doing my lobster. Like a baby lobster. Okay, so I do usually about two or probably two or three cloves of garlic. And I do a rough chop because I like the sauce to be like chunky and I don't like it to be too thin. So yeah, this is my first time, my first video, and um, I'm definitely uh, thinking of doing a lot of muffins. I have a lot of things in mind, things that I can show you how to do and things like that, and um, just a lot of ideas that I have, so I'm definitely going to be consistent for you guys if you, you know, like the channel and enjoy it, then you can subscribe to my channel. Um, as you see, it's called Chahidi. And I'll be doing different things, um, casseroles and some Spanish food and things like that. Okay, so here I have three clothes, which is more than enough for maybe three or four people. I love garlic. I think garlic is good in everything. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna shut my vent off. Super loud. Sorry about the noise. That was my vent. <laughs> it's getting hot and steamy. Okay, so now I just cut it in half. Um, I usually put it on the chopper, but lately I've been noticing that I like it a bit more chunkier and it just tastes better that way. You can just actually taste the garlic better. Okay. okay. And then you want to take a slither of an onion. You don't really want too many onions because it'll overpower the seafood and you know the whole flavor you can just just a rough chop that's all sometimes i do chop in my blender but yeah this is better because then you get to see you know exactly how thin or thick you want the pieces to be and for those of you that never had the sauce, um, you know, it's more like a dipping sauce. It's not necessarily a sauce that you're going to eat. Um, you know, all the stuff that's in it, in the bottom, you know, the seasonings and stuff. But it is um, definitely, um, it's definitely a good butter dip sauce for any type of seafood, really. And I have um, extra large shrimp um, peeled de veins with the tails on. Um, that's why I like it. So um, I'm starting here. Let me bring you guys over here. With the um, two sticks of butter, unsalted. And to that, we just want to kind of um, put it on medium heat. 
and then you want to get you know all the condiments that you're gonna need chili powder paprika oh, I already have. so old bay seasoning these are all the seasonings you're gonna need for the sauce and it's a lot I would tell you that now but it is so good so worth it um, oregano curry powder accent it looks like salt but it's not big difference um, this is lemon pepper you're gonna need onion powder even though you know you have you have the onion um, you want to use onion powder and uh, garlic powder you have the um, cayenne pepper and Cajun seasoning which I just use like I literally put it separately because it is spicy so for those of you that like spicy that's perfect for you um, and then you just need Worcestershire sauce and balsamic vinegar and you're gonna need brown sugar which I already have so yeah that's what you need uh, it's one teaspoon for each thing I leave the liquids to put directly into the sauce so I'll do that after all right so the butter is melting you can go ahead and put in the garlic and then let's just chop that slither of onion that I was telling you about it's literally like just a little slither you don't want too much onion to overpower it and then also it could be uh, too oniony <laughs> And this is a recipe that you definitely can play with if you like it thicker, if you like it spicier, if you don't like onions, if you don't, you know, like certain things, you can leave it out. Um, you can make it however you want. That's what I really love about this recipe. It's super easy and it's very versatile. Actually, I, I needed one teaspoon for that. Okay, so there. So it's two of each if you're using a half a teaspoon just so that it fits in. Okay. All right, so I'm kind of going to just put it to the side because then I will forget what I put in the book. <laughs> okay, this is curry powder. This is really, really good. And it gives it a lot of flavor in the sauce. Like, it's just something so different. And the original recipe from Be Love herself, um, it's a little bit different, but like I said, you know, to each his own, you know, you do it to your liking, and this is the way that I like it. I'm not too crazy about the ginger. I know she adds ginger and things like that, but I just like it just the way I'm making it now, the way I'm showing you. And a lot of people don't know of the sauce. It's pretty much for seafood, but nowadays you can use it for anything like Sometimes I like to put it over white rice to eat it with sausage or cucumbers. This is the accent salt. Please don't think it's salt. It's not. If you put it as it is salt, then you really are going to change the whole entire flavor. So don't get salt. <laughs> this is totally different. Okay, I'm going to put this here so I know I used it. And then I'm going to put in the 
and then we have the um, obey, the obey seasoning, which is really good for seafood. I love it, the seafood. Louisiana style. <laughs> this one is garlic and herb, but you can use whatever as long as it's obey. Paprika. Paprika. I first saw this um, watching YouTube myself and I thought, oh my goodness, that's a lot of stuff. But when I came to taste it, it was actually really good. And I think for all of you guys, you should just try it because you're going to be absolutely in love with it. <laughs> okay, this is um, onion powder. Everything, like I said, is all one teaspoon. So you really don't have to... Um, Worry. of how much to put because it's exact every time obviously if you were making more then you would just put more um you know if you were you know doing for a bigger family more servings you would use maybe a tablespoon rather than a teaspoon okay last but not least is the brown sugar I find the brown sugar is way better. However, it is a strong flavor, so I'm only gonna put the half a teaspoon. I'm not gonna put the whole teaspoon. I just find it way too strong and it'll, it'll make it too, too sugary, which I don't really like sugary. Okay, so there's that. 